Sinkholes are real attention getters, you know, but they're also highly localized. It's just a hole in one spot. And we have showed you the sinkholes in Inglewood so many times that you might think that there's just one problem area. But in fact, Inglewood's flooding issue covers more than half that city. Tonight, Public Works is going to tell council if you can't beat the flooding, buy them out. Offer people cash to leave low lying areas. Here's Steve Steger. Ah, the joys of new home ownership. Me and my fiance bought it in uh, April uh, 2018. Uh, and then in July, we had our first flood. It didn't take long for Jake Mueller to realize the area he'd moved to near Tufts and Broadway in Inglewood was a problem. About two feet of uh, water in the in the backyard and got into the basement. His property is on a list of a handful of others that the city of Inglewood says could experience massive flooding should the city see a 10 year or 25 year flood event. In fact, Jake's property could see three to four feet of water in a serious flood. It was, uh, <laughs> it was pretty awful. We've told you about Inglewood's latest effort to fix the problems. A $50 million plan being floated in front of the city council could give property owners like Mueller something of a break. It includes $7 million to buy homes that the city says they can't save, even with huge fixes to drains. Really, this would be for the ones that can't be um, protected with the storm sewer pipes that we're proposing. The plan calls for an appraisal. Then the city would pay fair market value for homes until the $7 million is spent. It would be completely voluntary. Mueller isn't sure he'd take the city up on that offer. He and his fiance like the neighborhood. They could see raising a family here. There's things we can do to try and um, flood proof our house, like um, uh, like doing like maybe a rain garden or, you know, kind of drainage ditches. And if anyone can do that, it's him. <laughs> I'm a municipal stormwater inspector. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of ironic if you, <laughs> you could say it's ironic. Ironic, though, he's somewhere else, not in Inglewood. The public works director for Inglewood told me there are about 17 homes that might fit this criteria for the $7 million. They've also researched building a new natural drainage area to get rid of some of that water. To do that, the city would have to acquire about 100 properties, which would be a lot more difficult. So as of now, the public works director told me they aren't suggesting that to city council. They'd rather try this fix with the money available for people who may not be helped yeah. to, uh, before they try anything else. Because when you hear him talk about creating like a natural drainage area, they would need all the houses. I mean, you can't just get some of them and then be like, watch out, Dolores, here comes the water. Right. Yeah, you know? if Dolores yeah. is the lone holdout, then yeah. you've you got a problem. Flood her house. No, yeah. you can't. You, you're going to have to take it somehow. And I, I think they don't want to pursue that now. Yeah. They'd rather try something else. You start talking eminent domain, people start to get all excited. So right now they're saying just voluntary buyouts for people yeah. who want them. All right, Steve, thank you.